We are looking at 90 rated future star icons. Paul, you can see here, medium high, three star, three star, five foot ten. Can play centre back or right back. So depending on what your chemistry looks like in your team and you want to move players around, that's also a good option. In terms of defending, fantastic, like defensive awareness, etc. Really high rated. Obviously, defending is very manual, so it depends if you drag players out or not. But in terms of when the AI controls him, which is the computer, he has very, very good statistics. Great strength, stamina, acceleration, good agility and balance. Good composure, pretty good def uh, passing as well. Obviously, the pace is one of those ones. He is control, which is my issue with him, and I'll get to that in a second. Now, in terms of play styles, of course, we've got power header, slide tackle, anticipate, jockey, relentless, aerial, and then we have block plus. So block plus means they block shots more often and normally win the ball back a lot from it. Now, we have gone for a shadow. I think it's pretty obvious why, but the main reason, if you didn't know, is to really maximize that pace to 88 get his defending to 97, which makes him into a 94 rated center back. Now we are playing in our 4-2-3-1 system. We'll talk about Kemp Styles pricing and what I thought about the card a bit more at the end of the review. But we are going to be playing in weekend league today or foot champs, depending on how you call it. And we are going to be using Paul Yor, like I said, as a center back in a 4-2-3-1 system. Let's just see how he does for us today. If you need help in FC24, I've got the best solution. Head over to skycoach.gg where you can get boosts in weekend league rivals. You can buy FC coins as well as get yourself 10% off on all orders when you use code NANIC. Link will be in the description down below. There is nothing stopping you and go ahead and get Get those boosts you need so we are into foot champs or weekend league as we said and obviously we are playing in a 4 2 as mentioned now defending is very very manual so if you're not great at defending or don't understand positioning you may struggle with certain cards and then the flip of that as well if you are good but the game screws you over in terms of interceptions or tackles could be an issue so we're not going to be looking at trying to keep a clean sheet which means our opponent won't score we're just going to look at his ability to how he holds his own against these elite players, how he feels on and off the ball. Of course, if he wins headers, his recovery speed and stuff like that. Now, I can tell you right now, as a left stick dribble for a centre back, he does feel very, very good. I mean, it doesn't really help us in any situation, but you can see there that he can turn quite quick and his passing is going to be good because of high passing. Now, I'm not going to be trying to get our opponent to attack through because we are in weekend league. We're just going to let it happen naturally. Whether that's in one, two, or three games, the Paulius come over here. Not the best tackle, but we do drive him away, so we'll take it. But you can see, we're going to just sort of, like, make it come naturally. We're not going to force it. We're not going to let our opponent drive through, and we try and tackle because it's not going to work. We're just going to play how it is. I've just done that mistake right there. I'm going to hold it off. A great block there. That's exactly what we wanted. He went for the Traveller. Now we got him on a counter-attack. Lovely through ball. So we get past. And we've got ourselves a corner. Now, that's a really good start from him to block that on the counter-attack. Now, we ain't going to look at set pieces because, we just be honest, he's probably not going to be very good at them. We will have a check if he is. And if he is, I'll put it on the screen. But if he's not, then we're not going to bother. Right, now this is where we need him to step up on the counter-attack. Good strength there. We're going to come this way. Hopefully, he man marks their saviour at the top of the screen. And he does. That's a pretty good defender from him there in terms of positioning. Doesn't seem like a lot, but we want the AI to do that with that type of card. Got ourselves another corner here. Now, it looks like Paul Yo doesn't actually run into the box. He sits at the top, and just to show you, there's Balde, and there's Paul Yo there. So we're going to take a long-range shot with him. He does get blocked. Obviously, we're not going to do that normally. But that's where he sits. He doesn't really sit in the box. That's a really good dribble. We've got tackled there, which is a bit weird. I wish I said about where we could try headers with him, but unfortunately, that's not the case. Now, of course, if our opponent has a corner, we can have a look. But so far, it's been a very quiet game. Play about there, good header to Puyo, good composure, little one two, great touch into the pass there. That's down to the composure. Now he got has a better attack here. Get shot off, and there is our first goal there. Lovely play from Puyo out of his feet under pressure. One nil up there with Bernardo Silva coming in. Our opponent does seem to be avoiding Puyo, I have to say. As you see here, Puyo's at the other end of the pitch. He's not really going near him. I don't know because he doesn't know because it's a new card, or I don't really understand what's going on. Maybe he just attacks that side of the screen. But so far, that's promising. I don't mind players doing that. Poyo here has been dragged out. Good positioning from the other defenders, though, to cover. And that's my exact point with manual defending. If you do drag somebody out, depends if the AI cuts us out with other players. So, again, not really much going on. We're doing very, very well. What he is good at doing is winning the ball in this situation. Been caught out here. Great interception there, Poyo. Shutting that down. It was a two-on-one otherwise. Now he got an attack down the other end. Got a bit of pressure. Got to play it back to Paul Yo. It's not the best pass. But the keepers come to collect it. Paul Yo on the ball. Good 
Good pass in. Lovely control from Rodri as well. Been caught out here. This is a bad position to be in. Poise got to use that pace. Great turn from him. Good left stick dribbling. And a fantastic tackle there to win the ball. That is top, top level. Really good left stick dribbling from him to mark the space. Sabio was turning left and right. We kept up with him. And then he lunged in for that tackle. And, of course, won the ball. That's, that, was a, that was a massive tackle. Didn't look like much, but that stopped his attack dead. We're only winning by 1-0, don't forget. So that, tackles like that is what we need. Been caught out here. Paul Yarl's got to come over. I don't know where the left back is. Force him into a bad pass. You could, you could class that as a Paul Yarl thing. That's up to you whether the viewer wants to think that is or not. I will say we forced him into the pass. It's a bad touch for me. I don't know about that one. That was a bit of a weird one. Yeah, one-on-one. -on -one. It's a bad defending. Great turn. We're going to concede from this, I'm pretty sure. No, we're not. It's a bad finish. Like right, we get down the other end? So half-time there. We've got the clean sheet so far. It's been half busy, half quiet sort of game for Puyo. Obviously, I made one mistake by dragging him out. But if we have a look, he's got a 6.5. The reason being is 9 out of 9 dribbles. We had one shot. Tested it. doesn't really matter. But all passes have been complete. But you can see here, he's won one tackle. Even though the tackles don't register properly, he's definitely won more. One interception, one block as well. He's won all the defensive duels and one offensive duels as well. So in terms of what he's doing when he's called upon, he's doing very, very well. Now, his recovery speed isn't the quickest. And that's down to accelerate type being controlled. But in terms of just getting out of situations and stuff like that, he's very, very good. His passing, as I've just said, that commentator's curse. And we do force him into a pass. Let's say his passing is really, really good. But of course, as soon as I mention it while commentating, it's a bad pass. But in terms of consistency, it's been very, very good. Great tackle from Paul Yo. Now we've got that counter attack. He overlapped as well with his left back. Can we capitalize on the mistake? Bearing in mind, has all come from Paul Yo's tackle. It's a really good save from uh, Alfonso Davies. There's a shame. But again, Winning that tackle, transitioning straight away is what we like to see. We're dragged out here. See that recovery speed. Trying to hold him off. And that's, I mean, that's bad defending and good defending together. Put Sabio off the shot by pulling his shirt. Not again, like I say, his recovery speed isn't the best. So you want to be careful if you're going to drag him out because he isn't going to catch up. And that's just down to the fact that he's not lengthy. But still, put the player off, got the shot away, and it didn't go anywhere near the target. You can't ask for much more when your defender has been caught out like that. Was hoping he could knock him off the ball, but he didn't quite. And again, we've been caught out again. Got a run over. And it is going to be a goal there. It's a shame. Good play from our opponent. When you do drag Paul Yo out, he doesn't recover. That's one thing I will say is a little bit frustrating with the card. It's having a bad situation here. One on one. Again, I dragged him out. Bad move. Great tackle from Saliba, who is lengthy and anticipate. And we have got ourselves another goal back in the game. 2-1 now. Puyo on the ball. Driven pass in between the space. Lovely pass for him. Now we can transition. Right, 2 one situation. Alfonso Davies using that strength. Great recovery from Puyo. Wins that ball back. Now we know Alfonso Davies is out. We can try and blitz down the line. Get away from Van Dyke, please. Love that pace from Henri. Bit of skill. Great defense. It's got to be a foul, ref. How is that not a foul? Trying to catch up with Sabio. And again, Puyo shutting that down this time. Great tackle from him. Now we got ourselves an attack down the other end. All come from Paul Yo's win in midfield. Oh, how have we not scored that? Cross here. Paul Yo does go for the lunge. Doesn't miss, but not a problem. He's still in position. Right, we can shut it down now. Counter attack. Good ball in behind. Been dragged out. It's a great pass. Nowhere to go. Right, our opponent does have his first corner. Now, Poyo sits on the back post. Can he win the header? It's switched for us anyway. And it's a good save. Now, can we defend this corner now? Poyo running the mix. Let's go, counter attack. And we have got ourselves a winner. It looks like a rage quit as well. So, the only goal he scored if he does quit was from our mistake that we dragged someone out, which was Poyo trying to see his recovery speed. If he carries on, Poyo's had a very, very consistent game. He has quit. Like I was saying, on his recoveries, that is the issue with him. He's not the quickest coming back. You can see here, when we switched to him, we got 7.4, which is pretty decent. 15 out of 15 dribbles complete. In terms of passing, we only misplaced one pass, and that's literally when I commentated and said it. But you can see there, he had 14 passes, 13 altogether. We had three tackles, one. But again, defensive duels 100%. One, uh, one exception, one block, as mentioned, and again, doing very, very well. Now, like I say, he's not the quickest in recovery, but let's jump over to football and explain why. 
So we are footbid is about 360,000 coins. Now, if we compare him to his base card, yes, you could argue it's only a plus one overall, but he has got himself a plus eight on pace, a plus two, but plus 17 on dribbling. And you really, honestly, you do notice it. Like I say, though, his card in terms of accelerate is just controlled. Now, most of the time, the meta defenders or the top tier ones are all lengthy or at least mostly lengthy, etc. The reason being is they get quicker over time when they sprint. Now, with control, they hit the speed and they maintain it and never slow down or never get quicker. And the meta really is the lengthiness. So if you drag him out, you are going to have issues of him recovering, as we saw today in the review. But if you keep him in position and you don't drag him out manually... He is very, very good, especially under AI control with a shadow. You can see here only 95 in defense in terms of header and accuracy and defensive awareness. But the rest are absolutely mental at all 99. And that's why he's 94 rated. Now, dribbling's great. Obviously, you're not going to dribble too much with your center back, but you can get out of situations. Also, having this high short pass as well as having 85 composure means he can pass out of situations that you saw. So let's just say you're in a scenario where you're leading by one, 10 minutes to go, and your opponent's gone to high press and he's pressing all of your players really, really difficultly. He can get out of situations which surprise people. But if you lose the ball with him, he's not going to catch up to recover. No matter what his pace is on, whether you give him, like I said here, with a shadow 88 place, he still isn't going to quite catch up in those scenarios. There will be times where he does and then other times where he doesn't. Whereas Lengthy, 9 out of 10 times, he's going to get there every single time. But in terms of what he is compared to his base card, this is a massive improvement. Finally, a usable Puyo. Not too sure about playing him right back. I don't think it's worth it. Only if you're going to switch to a 5 back and your opponent is getting very, very aggressive. Then you could argue, yes, that's worth it. But because of his height, he doesn't really dominate in the air. But as always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. And if you're new to the game, smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.